Hello guys and welcome to the first video in the series which will show you how you can collect all the materials you will need to create the Vial of Sands. Um, so obviously this is a, a mount which can be collected by uh, alchemists who are into um, um, archaeology. Sorry about that. Uh, so obviously when you're doing this, this is a very expensive mount to make, it costs about 40,000 or about 36 I think is the is an accurate representative of that and when you sell it, you can sell it for about 44,000 um, I've made three of these so far, oh well this will be my third, the first one I use so I can now mount it and I might as well show you that now while we're here so you can see what it's like so this is what it is like um, but when you've created this, obviously you can sell it, and that is quite a, a good way of making money. You make about eight, I can make about eight thousand profit from it, so it's not bad for a few days' work. So, as I said in this video, I'll be showing you the quickest way of making all, or of collecting all the materials in the cheapest as well, in the cheapest way. So, as you can see, I haven't got them all, but I've got all the materials needed to create the rest. So, uh, I'm going to create the rest and um, show you where everything is. So, if you follow on with this, you'll be able to see how you can actually farm all the materials. And these are um, pretty much all of them. And any others that are here, I will be talking about anyway, so don't need to worry about that. So, the first thing you need is the 12 true gold. Again, if you buy these yourself off the auction house, on my server they're costing about 330 gold. But what you can actually do is go out and farm some volatile fire, volatile air, and volatile water. Um, as well as that, you can also get some uh, pyrium bar. I, I really need to learn how to say these things. But you need to get some of that. Um, and, well, here you can see on the screen here, these are the mats that you need to create. It. So, that's obviously going to save you a lot of gold. Because just to buy a stack of five of these is like 3,000 on my server, it's ridiculous. So obviously if you farm you yourself, you're going to save a lot of money. So the next thing you need is the deep stone oil. This is created by getting these albina uh, cave fish. Um, they can be fished up in um, 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 deep home, that's it and it doesn't take you that long to get them at all so the next thing that you need is the flask of the winds so this is again quite easy the whiptail is from oldham the ashara's veil vale, that's from vashir and uh, the volatile life is collected from any herbs you get in cataclysm the next thing we're going to be creating is the flask of titanic strength. So again, this is quite easy as well. Cinder Bloom, you can get that from Deep Home or um, Mount Hagel. Uh, Whiptail again, Oldham, and Volatile Life. Anyway, so I'm going to make all of them. And then we should have all the materials needed to create this. Um, before I carry on, I will need to talk about the parium laced crystalline flask, I think it is, or vial. Right, this costs a hell of a lot. It costs something like 8,000. Um, I'm not sure. But you can get that from Oldham. And that's at the back on the map. I'll be showing you where you can get that in one of the videos. The next thing is the Sands of Time. This can be purchased from Oldham, as well as in the um, um, Veil of Eternal Blossom, it's called. And again, they're quite expensive. And they make up the bulk of buying this. So them two together come up to something like 20 odd thousand. So you need to have the gold to buy this, but once you have, you can make it and you can sell it. And as I said, it does sell for quite a large amount. See there, auction house for seven thousand nine hundred ninety. Um, so if you can make that for about 
30,000 you've made 17 or 18,000 profit so I'm gonna be selling this and um, I'll add to my collection of gold and then I might be able to go through and buy some more mounts so um, sorry if this video has been boring but at least it'll give you a bit of an introduction as to the kind of materials you'll need to buy this and how you can get them all so thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in some of my other videos for the farming collection of all these items thanks guys see ya